The history of the Holocaust, specifically the horrific events Jews went through, is an extremely important subject that has an everlasting impact on our world today. Throughout the Holocaust, Jews were poorly mistreated as they were forced to flee their homes and taken from their families. They were viewed less than than the rest of society and faced a variety of challenges and struggles throughout this time period. In an article by Alon Confino, he specifically talks about the burning of the Hebrew Bible. This was a script that contains all the principal beliefs of Judaism. Confino mentions that it's not one, but thousands, and many Jews were even forced to come to these ceremonies of destruction and had to watch them do these actions. Additionally, Nazi Germany approximately deported 1,300,000 people to Auschwitz. This was a well-known concentration camp, and along with many others similar to it, injustice and maltreatment was given to those imprisoned there. If one was fortunate enough to survive these conditions, they were forced to work in harsh environments. In another article by Jacob Neusner, he discusses the implications of the Holocaust. He shares the perspective from a Jewish man and describes what it's like to not be welcome and being forced to flee from one's homeland, and the pure hatred that arises from being a Jew. In hopes of staying with their family, they try to stick together through this chaotic time. If they were unable to escape, the majority of them would not only be separated from their families, but also put into concentration camps where they would later be killed. Neusner also goes into detail as he examines how many Jews were forbidden from working certain professions and renting or owning homes. Germany pretty much made life impossible for Jews during this time. As they were forced into these camps, they possessed nothing more than the clothes on their back and were forced to survive in unsanitary and gruesome conditions as they were stripped from their rights. After exploring another article written by Margolet and Motskin, it focuses on the uniqueness of the Holocaust, specifically the collective humiliation and mass destruction that comes from it. Their claims throughout this article displays the Nazis' strong hatred for this religion and the extent they would go to rid them. After many people were exterminated, all of their previous belongings, including glasses, hair, skin, shoes, etc., were used to build weapons and went to Auschwitz for medical experiments. Some of these remains are still in museums today to show and bring awareness to today's world. Additionally, in another article written by Jovan Byford, he specifically talks about gas chambers and the Holocaust. It explains how most of the Jews involved were women, children, and the elderly. It states that this specific killing device was brought specifically for the purpose of killing them, which symbolizes the uniqueness of their tragic fate. It didn't matter what kind of background the Jews came from, they were all viewed the same. Moving along to an article written by Peter Fritzke, he focuses on the extreme of the violence during these traumatic events. It argues that more Jewish women and children were killed than men. This claim agrees with Bifers in which he stated most of the Jews targeted were women, children, and the elderly. It is made to believe the weaker or more vulnerable you were to Nazis, the less useful you were. It would then be more likely for Nazi persecution. Children and the elderly also had the lowest rate of survival in concentration camps and killing centers. As Hitler's plan was to exterminate all the Jewish people, the Nazis made sure to keep them all in fear for their life. The weapons used during this time to ensure that they didn't retaliate consisted of pistols, rifles, machine guns, anti-tank weapons, and chemical pesticides. Dealing with the aftermath, Nazis at first tried to bury all the bodies. However, they got to a point where they could not dig holes deep enough. They eventually put them all in piles, and after pouring gasoline over them, they set them on fire to cremate them. This allowed Nazis to, to dispose large amounts of bodies at one time. A man named Hurt R. Grossman wrote an article called The Final Solution. As stated in this document, Hitler wanted to exterminate all Jewish people to create environment for the pure Germans. The Germans would try to rid Jewish people by depriving them of food, especially during the winter. This made them more weak and vulnerable, which made it difficult to survive these conditions. The living conditions were so poor that they lived in filthy dens, dugouts, and catacombs. Gas chambers were used on them in an attempt to take out hundreds at one time. Unfortunately, the labor camps were the only places the Jews had a slim chance at survival. 
Moving along to another document written by Gabriel N. Finder, it portrays the view of Jewish population during the Holocaust. The article gives an insight on how victims perished in ghettos and hiding and labor camps. While the living conditions were not the best, they still had a better chance of surviving than being put in a concentration camp. Fender mentions that the Germans turned Poland into a boneless graveyard of their Jewish victims. There were so many victims, some were left unburied. This is what the survivors came back to, taking a huge toll on their mental state. As one can't even begin to fathom what these innocent people went through, laws were put into place in 1935 that stripped away Jewish people's citizenship along with their right to marry Germans. They were forced to live in specific areas and were maltreated in multiple different ways regarding food, shelter, and water, which are all vital things needed to survive. After viewing many standpoints over the Holocaust, it is made evident how incredibly traumatic and gruesome this time period was, especially to Jewish people. They were severely mistreated and viewed as less than human by the Germans as they were stripped from their rights, taken from their families, and had to fight for their life every single day. Their whole world was turned upside down and millions lost their life on account of these tragic events. After not only examining how the victims were treated during this time, but also seeing the everlasting impact it has on their mental state and their entire life afterwards, one is able to grasp the full horrific extent of the Holocaust.